Greetings Metal community, it's Roger back with another collection update. Um, got a uh, package in from uh, uh, Refinding Darkness Records, plus a couple of other stuff to show you here. Um, first of all, I just reached 100, actually 103 subscribers, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, when I started this channel, it was not, I didn't think about subscribers at all. I just had started subscribing myself to a, a certain deal of channels, but uh, it's pretty cool that I have reached 100. Uh, I haven't thought about doing anything special because it kind of happened pretty fast at the end. So, um, but uh, yeah, uh, there will be no uh, contest or giveaways uh, for this uh, amount of viewers, but um, you never know. I might do it anyway, regardless. You never know. So, uh, first of all, I got uh, from um, Burning Coffin Records, Chilean band um, Suffering Sights, new album, or their first album, actually. This is, um, tapes look like this great uh, you know it's death metal but with a lot of thrash I would say maybe more towards it's not brutal thrash but it's kind of heavy yeah death metal -y thrash metal um, great great album uh, so if you like you know your death metal with a lot of thrash influences uh, do check out uh, suffering sites great great uh, release Then I got another tape, uh, this was from the Refining Darkness. Uh, finally got my ass around to buying the cemetery as well. Tape. 11 minutes of uh, pure class death metal. I mean, it's just that. Plain and simple. Great stuff. Everybody knows this anyway, so... I'm just late to the party, it came out. I think it was early 20 or something. Then uh, what we are playing in the background. Tombstoner. Uh, victims of the uh, wild... Victims of wild torture. The normal booklets. The guys in the background. Did I forget to mention the title of the suffering sites? When sanity becomes insanity. Sorry about that. Can also take the cemetery as well. Title Cold Visions of Nether. I sometimes forget to say the titles. Yeah, and you know, there's a cool like tray photo as well, and you know, the back. The art is pretty damn good. Should have been on vinyl. Would be an excellent. I was kind of disappointed the first couple of times I played this. Don't know why, but uh, now it's uh, growing on me and it's uh, pretty damn good. And it's kind of this um, slightly brutal death metal, but also mid-paced. It's just solid. Has some. Uh, I think a little bit about. Um, yeah, I don't know, misery index or something at some parts uh, yeah but uh, just a solid great death metal album yeah I should have shown this when I show the album last video but you know celestial century soul diminished I had to have it on CD as well you know cool stuff supporting a great band and a great label so why not? When you order from, you know, US, you need to put some uh, titles in your basket or the shipping will not be worth it. Then I have the Stench Collector. I've seen this been shown. I'm pretty sure Anthony over at Metal Miners showed this not long ago. Might be wrong. Uh, F flu. Flu 
Vettorium du jour. Yeah. That was an easy title. Nice looking guys. Kind of straightforward, good death metal. Nothing uh, like unique about it, but it's just solid, solid work. Uh, it's an EP. I uh, don't remember how long it was, but it was kind of just long enough. I mean, uh, I don't think I would like uh, to listen to like 45 minutes with the same. Then you had to have some more variation. But but you know, this is a fun listen, a solid uh, death metal uh, release. So, uh, but uh, they need to change it up a little bit if they're gonna record at full length. I think. Then I also bought two kind of demo um, releases, reissues. The one is Delusion uh, with um, Trap Within an Autumn Dawn. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, their demo. They released two demos in the early... No, two demos. Three demos and an EP. Uh, you know, early to mid 90s. And this is also a, a, I'm not blown away by this, uh, it's fun to have, uh, you know, I like this demo stuff, but you know, that's, it's not all of these releases that are fantastic, but it's a solid one and en enjoyable, but not one that I will pull out very often. And the fun thing about this is kind of they have a nice evolution throughout the CD, you know, the first demo was okay, but the quality you know, gets uh, gradually better. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you have money left over, you can buy it. But you know, uh, if you are on a tight budget, uh, there's sure a lot of albums that you can buy before this one. And then the last CD I have to show is this. No, it's not the Black Album. Rest assured. It's uh, the Infestation demos called the uh, Antecent Antecendent uh, also a US death metal band I think this is uh, there are two demos from 92 and 94 I think remastered in uh, 2021 now this is uh, a better than the, the uh, delusion one devolution Delusion. Jesus. 10 seconds ago. Delusion, uh, this is much better. It's more quality in the riffing and, and overall uh, better, a better death metal band. Uh, pretty great stuff. Uh, really like this one. Um, gonna get some more spins. You know, all, all black tray with the, you know, this. Uh, and these, uh, most of these CDs are kind of a collaboration between um, uh, Raw Records and uh, Redefining Darkness. So um, yeah, so if you look, uh, if you find this in a shop, you know, uh, open it up and uh, look if it's infestation. A uh, pretty damn good uh, demo collection. Then we are going over to the vinyls, and uh, the only one I, love, I got two vinyls, you know, the Celestial, Celestial Sanctuary and uh, Alchemy Flesh. Alchemy of Flesh with Ageless Abominations. Uh, yeah, Morbid Angel Worship, uh, like me, there are Morbid Angel comes on a um, absolute terrible vinyl variant but uh, it was the only one they had uh, I mean I hate transparent vinyl and you know this uh, so-called lava it's a little bit darker red than than um, it shows on the camera but uh, it's kind of um, if they, it would be much better if they just had the um, the uh, red lava color on it sorry for the nice sound of this and uh, yeah, uh, pretty damn good music, but the drums are, um, I'm 100% sure these drums are programmed. 
uh, they're not bad, but it's just too um, kind of uh, clinical sounding. There's no, there's not enough life in them, which is a damn shame. Uh, because, as I said, the music is pretty damn good, uh, but the drums are uh, weak sounding. There's no power in them in a way. Um, at least. They, 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 it could be just uh, over-triggered, but uh, for me it just sounds like... Uh, but uh, as I said, the music is great. Uh, if you like, um, you know, the Formulas uh, era and stuff like that. So that was the stuff that I got from Redefining Darkness. Then I got a vinyl from um, Transcending Records. Uh, Transcending Obscurity Records. And you know when... Uh, they make vinyl, they make it colorful, very nice lyrics, and you know, um, the guy in the middle, Roga Johansson, great, great fold out, I mean, uh, they do a pretty damn good job with this um, embossed logo, and, and it's kind of not embossed, this, but it's kind of popping out anyway, same with the lighthouse and the boats. Uh, pretty nice uh, vinyl edition. Uh, musically, I get, of course, Swedish sounding um, more in the um, kind of the uh, spectral sorrow edge of sanity. Uh, also, um, they have a progressive synth, which is not always very fitting in the music. Uh, that reminds it kind of um, uh, Don Swanes Moon Tower. That's kind of proggy synth, which destroys a couple of the songs here. Uh, totally unnecessary from my part. Overall, a great album. There are some songs that are more towards the Göteborg uh, sound um, or Gothenburg sound, but that's not a problem. I, I don't like that type of death metal, but it works with this because these vocals are deep enough and and. Uh, and the overall sound is pretty good on this. Um, and uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, as I say I'm going to show the, my two next albums. This kind of fell a little bit short, so I need to pick this up at a later stage. But uh, overall, it's a solid release, but it's not fantastic. And, and as I said, that that's a progressive uh, synth they had have, have on there. Uh, it's not very fitting in my ears, but you know. I'm not uh, the biggest fan of synth. That's just me. And then I have two albums from Me um, Sajo Un Ocho Ojo from um, England. We have a um, nice uh, band bunch of um, guys from Hungary. You know, Rotaras. Um, yeah. I'd I don't want to try to pronounce that title because, yeah, this is uh, you know everybody everybody should know Rutadas. It's uh, Death Doom. Uh, they do have like uh, um, blasting parts on air uh, as well. You know, uh, great sound, great deep vocals. Uh, just a fantastic album and. Um, it is kind of, um, I don't know who to compare them to, but uh, it's just uh, well produced, juicy. I mean, all the lyrics are uh, in a language that I don't know how to speak, and you know, this side is the same as the back side. So, um, nothing special, but uh, a pretty damn good. I mean, it's, it's close to excellent, and this will be um, in my top 20. I am pretty sure of it. I've heard it a couple of times on on uh, on um, Bandcamp before I I played the album, so I was familiar to it. And uh, yeah, especially the song three or the last song on on the first side has a really cool uh, like the two half two and a half minutes ending of that song is just killer riff. You know, you want to go headbang to. So it's kind of not it's mid-tempo and slow but i also kind of blast away he has a kind of a screaming or blackish vocals sometimes so you just 
uh, horses guts out, which is pretty cool as well. And uh, great cover, a absolute killer album. And don't uh, I'm not gonna do it justice by sitting here and talk about it. Go and listen to it and find out for yourself. It's just uh, yeah, top 20 for sure this year. Uh, I'm not gonna make a top 10 list this year because there's so many good releases. So I will. Um, Expand it to a top 20. Another killer uh, album from uh, you know Masaho and Oho is um, Sulfurs from Denmark. Look at that cover. Hope it shows. Pretty nice. Uh, same deal here with the inner. It's just or you know it's a booklet. But you know, here's English lyrics, so we can understand it. So, um, but uh, nothing more than this. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like it when I come in this small book form as well. You know. Um, what you got here is a. Uh, this is more uh, brutal to what a brutal death metal. They do slow down to some like uh, doomy, doomier part or mid-paced parts. Great drumming on this uh, album. He kind of, kind of um, set the pace for the music. Uh, great uh, lead uh, guitars that kind of floating up and down sometimes. Uh, the solos are more like leads, not solo like uh, shredding. Uh, just a great, great death metal album. Um, it's not Merc, it's clearer than the previous album, which was also a killer album. Uh, and a uh, li little bit cleaner production on it, uh, and, and I don't mind that at all. Uh, and yeah, just a another killer album. Uh, kind of been struggling between this and the Rotodas uh, the co last couple of days, which one to play, because when I put them on, I just want to continue playing them, because they are so great. And um, yeah. Just if you like uh, death metal towards more towards the brutal side, but they have enough. Um, I don't think it will scare away anybody who likes death metal. But uh, yeah, just a killer, killer album, uh, killer leads, killer drumming. Uh, not uh, to forget that you know because that's very important in this, in this kind of music that you don't have this uh, over triggered drums that kind of kills the. Um, kind of in a way groove it makes the music um, more um, interesting and, and yeah I, I think this album is fantastic uh, this and Rotodas is just top-notch uh, kind of been blown away but about uh, a lot of good quality albums the last couple of months so it, it's kind of difficult to process everything but you know I will link up everything below as normal and you can go and check them out um, and you know thanks to everybody for subscribing all 103 of you I uh, hope you still will continue watching this shit and um, thanks a bunch and be sure